Hey everybody, Vinny Korea here from Operation Rainfall, and welcome back to another episode of Set to Run Kagura Peach Beach Splash. I uh, apologize for wearing the Christmas sweater past Christmas, but it is currently December 28th as I'm recording this, and it is roughly about 50 degrees in my room. I'm kind of freezing, so um, it's 4 a.m. I actually has, I just got back from visiting family, so I had some time to record to get the episode out this week. And uh, so I've got some tea over here, just figuring it out on the Christmas sweater, because it's still technically christmas -y. So, eh, apologies, but, uh, but yeah, that's basically, like I said, it's cold in here. <laughs> but for those who are curious, it is a Mega Man, uh, it's kind of hard to little see on the camera, but, uh, Mega Man X. So, um, anyway, last time on Peach Peach Splash, we went ahead and started the Paradise episodes. We did Yuyakis, we did, um... Yumi's and we did uh, Ayame's, which was just the best note to end on. So uh, this time we're going to go ahead and do the next set of Paradise episodes. So that would be for perfection. Shinobun Master is Katsuragi Tullis and Ghost Tongue. So let's begin with perfe for perfection. Uh, so the only reason I'm here is to sell things with Homer Ash. She'll pay for everything this time. I still don't know who you are. Alright, so let's, uh, get right down into it and find out who Soji is. Well, that's a nice greeting. Soji, Homer, the leader of the Habijo, or the former Habijo Elite team, has completely forgotten that I exist. That's a lie. I can see the empty void behind her eyes. How could this be? It's so humiliating. She surrendered my life from the moment she walked into it. First to Hadijo, she beat me in the city council election. I was supposed to be class president. It would have gone perfectly without her. To avenge the insults of my popularity, I challenged her to a fight outside. She beat me at that too. I vowed to myself that I would refuse to join the Fabijo Elite team until I defeated her. I lost track of her after she left Fabijo, but then I got a tip that she was here on this island. And now that I've tracked her down, it's just more humiliation. Turn my back on the dumbfounded Homer and walk away, spoiling for a fight. Well, it seems like Soji is a bit of a sore loser. Alright, well, let's see if we can't rectify that. Uh, first friggin' thing first. That's two Gatling guns. There we go. Okay. Let's deploy. And let's start this thing. Alright. For Perfection Episode 1 versus Student. Defeat the body. Okay, there we go. I was I forgot to switch Dex. <laughs> I have been Okay, yeah, this is gonna say I have been playing P uh not P yeah, Cyber Dimension and so I'm thinking of those controls right now. <laughs> no, okay. Okay, that's right, there is no button to me. I need to push the aim. God jeez. Nope, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> this is a great start. <laughs> I 
I kept thinking I had to hit the button to lock on. The auto aim is auto aim. Don't screw it. Don't be screwing this up. Oh god. Problem is, I play Uni in that game. <laughs> I don't play online with a single player. I play Uni in that, and I'm basically used to going, okay, back button, 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 button lock on, back button, back button, back button. <laughs> Double KO! Oh, this is gonna go friggin' great. <laughs> But what's his claim on fighting in character is he's not nearly that good. There we go. <laughs> oh dear lord. I need to make sure to change my weapon outlook, my deck outlook. That was horrible. <laughs> Um, uh, we got nothing good. Hooray. Uh, versus Senior. Yes, we will move on to the next stage. Okay, hold on. First things first, let me load the deck. Okay. Now, at the very least, I should be set up to, um, to survive, because they're going to actually have access to my good cards. For Perfection, Episode 2, versus Signor. Defeat the Orbi. Oh, wait, she's starting in front of us. Oh, this is friggin' great. <laughs> that sniper rifle hurts like a freaking truck. Nope. Wow, this is going freaking great. Oh, hold still. Nope, she got me. Okay, got her. Whew. Oh, we cleared it. That's the good news. The bad news is that, yeah, this is just... She's set up to duel, and uh, Sniper Rifle is always going to do a, t a ton of damage. Uh, we got a Yomi on vacation. Neat. Okay. Versus Legendary Shinobi. These are just gonna be one-on-one -on -one fights, aren't they? I, I, my enthusiasm grows. <laughs> oh, boy. For Perfection, Episode 3, versus Legendary Shinobi. Defeat Jasmine. Um, where is she? Oh, this is going to be horrible. No, 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 God, the bejesus on taco salad. Friggin' hiding? No, 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 no. Got her. Okay. 
If I got her pinned down, it's a lot easier, but yeah. Well, uh, for perfection three, then. You are not perfect, I'm sorry, no. Not to mention, I really do not like the idea of perfection in general. To strive for it is one thing, but when it becomes an obsession, that's eh, kind of an issue. Uh, do nothing good again. Okay. Uh, versus good listener. So apparently somebody is going to listen to our problems. Too bad we're not going to listen to theirs, huh? All right, well, let's do this. For Perfection, episode four versus Good Listener. Defeat Renka. Are you just a good listener? No, oh, I think so, but at the same time, I can't wait to play as Renka. I call shenanigans. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh god, she used a card. I don't even know where she is. Got her. Okay. Well, that means we're on to episode five. Ah, uh, we got a new Ikaruga. Okay, neat. Okay. Now we just got to versus Eternal Rival. Here we go, round five. Started out pretty badly, but uh, we got back in the groove okay so far. This is what happens when I try to play a different game for a long period of time. Full Perfection, Episode 5, versus Eternal Rival, Defeat Homura. <laughs> Defeat Person Who Doesn't Know Us. Oh, she got me back. Got her. Look, Gatling gun to the face solves everything. Oh, we just Oz gonna show up and kick her ass, and then she's not perfect again. <laughs> of course, Miyabi's still not going to accept her into her group. Miyabi has enough people as it is. <laughs> I defeated Homer, but rather than swelling up with pride or the thrill of vengeance, my heart is at peace. I don't feel the rush I expected. Only tranquility. My feelings must be obvious if even she noticed them. Happy? That I defeated Homer? 
How could I be if it means so little? I'm still surprised at how blank I feel about all this. Now all my old tenacity is gone, just like that. Is this what perfection feels like? Having nothing outside yourself to tie you down? Homer bursts out laughing. She been listening to me. Her words leave me speechless. I get it. She's exactly right. It's not as if I've beaten every other shinobi in the world. Even if I win today, tomorrow's another story. Physical power can only get you so far, and it can fall apart at any time. She tries to sputter out an excuse, but I just give her a little smile. For all the time she's beaten me, I have to give her a little taste of her own medicine. It's a stepping stone for me. Whatever else happens, I do want to say one thing to her. Well, looks like Asuka has a new rival. Of course, not really. Okay. Oh, well. At least we know who Soji is now. Sounds like we don't really know who she is, but uh, we know who she is, apparently. Uh, we got Burasaki and lingerie. Neat. Okay. We got another Paradise Pack. You have this Yomi and Explosive Shinobi. Interesting. Okay. We got the Zemi card. Got Memorial card. Four Perfection is in the shop. And now we move on to our second story of the day. Shinobon Master. Uh, let's see. Global games are getting better and better. Check this one out. Looks like this is a Kafu uh, centric story. And considering we have not played as her, we shall do so. I ignored the question. I'm in the heat of a serious battle. A battle with a monster. I the monster at my smartphone some... Some... The heck is that word? Hi... Hiyoriogen. Hiyoriogen. Okay. <clears throat> I give the monster on my smartphone some... Bleh, I'm trying again. I gave the monster on my smartphone some Hiyoriogen. My finger slides across the screen in one smooth flick. We're playing Pokemon Go, aren't we? Shinomon Gozaro. It's the world's most famous mobile game, and not just among Shinobi. I'm surprised she hasn't heard of it. Hanzo Academy's resident klutz, Habari, comes at me with a smartphone in one hand. Do I sense a Shinomon battle? Just one more thing? 
She caught everything else? What kind of girl is a Sapari? She hasn't had the proper training for this. Shinomon Gozaru has a trading feature. In other words, as I move with Hibari, who's almost at 100%, I get all her leftovers. Soon, I have only one left to find. Same as her. I have so many questions. <laughs> Mainly... Uh, hold on a second. I need to do some shit. Well, I'll do it. I'll, I'll talk. That's why I did. Um, namely, well, I guess we're all going for the Gatling cannon because I'm not going to take this change. Um, I know they have cell signal help, but in a game like that, don't you normally need to go ahead and still program, um, you know, basically, hey, these things show up in this area. These things show up in So are these Shinobi game developers who are like, yeah, this island here, we're going to program all this stuff to show up. Oh, let's use Kakuru, though. I, 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 I don't even. Oh. Shinobon Master, episode one. Shinobon Gozaru. No! I'm sure there's a pun there somewhere I don't know about. Did you die already? You're a warrior lady. Okay, so it looks like those are on the floor. Well, I am good at jumping. Doing cannon. Mission complete. Shinomon. Uh, we got a Hikage. To be a trainer. Of course, I just remember that old Pokemon song, To Be a Master. 
I used to have that album. It was actually, I actually really liked it when I was a kid. It wasn't a bad album. The Team Rocket's Rocket song in particular was one of the best damn things on that. Uh, there was one song Misty sang too, which I think it was called Misty Song or whatnot, but that wasn't a bad song too. Your reward, I feel. Uh, Super Master Episode 2, Tupia Master. 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 Oh dear lord. Why is the guessing team here? You guys are jerks. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, we do not. We want to have a PBS fight. That's what we want to do. Well, guess what? My eyes just met yours, and now I will shoot you. For a great victory. For a great being out of water. Oh, God. I swear to the Jesus on taco salads. Go away. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you... Fleepity fleep, Yozakura. They are not being my friends right now. Uh, got one. No, 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 no. Trying was perfectly fine. You just should not have gotten in my way. Good work, Cannonball Shot. You never usually kill anything. Nope. I turned around. I didn't even realize we weren't playing as Kofu anymore, huh? Guy goes to Kuro. Thank you for working, game! I... Go down. Dear Lord, I was matching, I was like in the prompt of the square, well, kind of like the square of the prompt was not showing up, and then yeah. Right there, I will say that, the turn speed on this thing is horrible. Is it? like that outfit on her. <laughs> yeah, you did. I'll give you that. But, uh, we got crap. Okay. Commence experiment? Oh, dear lord. Is this Haruka? This sounds like it could be dangerous. Ah, let's play some Mario. Everyone has the same card and setup, so it shouldn't be too horrible for me to switch between them. Okay. Shinobon Monster, Episode 3, Commence Experiment. Defeat the Crimson Squad. Yep, Haruka's team captain. We're friggin' doomed, god dang it. You know what? This is payback. Okay. Are you behind two for Oh, that's probably what friggin' happened. Sorry, boss. But, uh... Go down! Okay, that was Hikage that got me. Good. I was about to say, please don't tell me that thing actually caught me. Oh, 
Ruka's face. <laughs> oh, okay, then. <laughs> God damn it. You stupid thing. <laughs> I'm gonna freaking lose this man because it's all good like that. <laughs> oh, you dick. <laughs> oh. Okay, that is the one thing I absolutely do detest about this. It should not switch me around, switch the camera angle around when I'm friggin' activating a card. There's no reason to. Look, just, just go down. Thank you. God. And I hit the mic. Brilliant. I'm gonna laugh if it's like something like Habari needs like the most common thing ever and she's never found it. That or if Yagyu has been on like an epic search to find this one thing. That was, that was a garbage round though. Holy jeez. Okay, episode four, Escalation. Well, let's hope the Escalation does it. We lost Murasaki. Oh, crap. Well, sorry, Murasaki. Time to beat you up, apparently. <sighs> Shoot a one master. Episode four. Escalation. What are you, Phoenix Wright? Oh, wait, no, you would be Edgeworth in that case. I am an idiot. That shows you how long it's been since I've played any of the Phoenix Wright games. Stop the frickin' the taco! And now it's mine. Yes, beating up our teammates. That is the way to score victories. It's been a while since I've actually... I actually was trying to play through the entire... Um, I bought Ace Attorney Ace Trilogy because I wanted to go ahead and actually play through all the way up to... Because uh, I own five and I own five on the, D, uh, on the 3DS, but I haven't had a chance to play it yet because I needed to basically beat four and I hadn't played two, so I got the, the collection for the 3DS to play one through three... Uh, to play two and then play one and three again. We got a new... Murakumo... In exchange for this life? No! She's not allowed to die. She's awesome. But, um... Shinomon's gift, episode 5. But, um, I, I just... I haven't gotten a chance to... I, I put it down and I didn't have a chance to get back to it just yet. Uh... I guess because we're mean to Murasaki, we should go ahead and, uh... We'll do Murasaki now. But, um, sorry, um, I need to actually sit down and do that. That might be one of the things I do in 2018. 2018, though, is going to be Shinnamon uh, Master, Episode 5. Shinnamon's gift, Defeat Jasmine? What the heck is Jasmine playing this for? 
But uh, 2 of 18, I'm going to try and focus on the Neptunia series personally, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Wait, did you just say I was wasting my time with the game? That's it, we're gonna fight now. <laughs> Your stupid friggin' bone throwing mother blasting taco! Okay, how the? Sure. I didn't even look at it. God. Oh god, she actually did tag me. Um, I have no idea where she is. I'm going to probably take a death here. Nope, one HP. I'm dead. Nope. That was just not gonna end well. Yeah, no. To borrow your phrase? No, to modify your phrase? No shit. Oh god. Fuck. Stop freaking shooting me, you jerk. <laughs> you know what? Screw this. Barriers and Kai Kai home. Okay, it's just a freaking storm of just bomb. Die, thank you. Not really? We have defeated Bastard with the power of the game. Okay, anyway. I get the joke. That's why I'm hitting my head. Oh. Leave my, leave my smartphone in the direction Hibari's pointing. A super rare shit on. Kunoichi appears on screen. The last shit in the decks. I'm gonna catch it no matter what. I run ahead of the others. Even Murasaki joins in the race. I reach towards Murasaki and tickle her sides with all my might. Not fair. Agreed. She starts tickling me right back. Gucha? We take a moment away from our tickle battle to see Hibari probably displaying her new Kunoichi. Why would she turn on the chance to complete her decks? It doesn't make any sense. She wears a big smile as she says that. I do enjoy going after Cinnamon for completion's sake, but now that I try it with friends, I'm enjoying it more. Anyway, I do enjoy going after Cinnamon for completion's sake, but now that I try it with friends, tried it, game, tried. I'm enjoying it more. I will not explode. I will not explode. It's like having extra people there multiplies the fun. Let's 
The road to becoming a Cinnabon, Cinnabon Masters has just begun. Our journey continues ever on toward the horizon. Thank you. Oh, wait. To be continued. Thank you very much for reading. Please stay tuned for the next adventure of the Cinnabon Trainers. Oh. Not that I disagree with the premise of that, but Hibara, you could have caught the thing and still just helped them complete their decks then. Oh. It's a Habari thing to do, but it hurts my brain. And then, yeah. Puppet Walker, white. Interesting. And then, yeah, you just have the, um... The grammatical error, which those always really bug me. Oh, we got a new Yomi car, too. Cool. Like, there was one I thought I saw earlier. At, no, 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 it wasn't this. There was one I thought in Cyber Dimension. I had to reread the sentence two times to realize that, no, it was correct the way they were using the word they were using. So, I'm not always perfect for sure, but, like, damn, what I just go, that's right. Okay, well, the next one is Ghost Hunt, so let's go on a friggin' Ghost Hunt. Uh, as I train in the moonlight, I sense a strange presence in the silence, presence in the silence around me. When I turned, I saw... Investigate the wrapping zone, huh? As I finish my story, Yumi, Asuka, and Homura stare at me with their eyes wide open. I suppose I should have expected as much. Elite leaders, though they may be, some things are hard for them to accept. For this mission, I need their cooperation, no matter what. So I must convince them to believe me. In the forest on the outskirts of the island, I saw one as clear as the moon, the ghost of a bloody woman floating in midair. The more details I explain, the paler their faces grow. Homura says. お化けを放っておくわけにも。そ、そ、そうだよ、ホムラちゃん。し、し、忍びがお化けを放って、どうするの? そう言ってるお前たちも足が震えてるじゃないか。私は帰る。ホムラちゃん、待って。she tries to leave. The others grab her. And so our force assembles. Four elite Shinobi students, good and evil, united. No ghost stands a chance. So, the leaders of the Shinobi schools have become the Ghostbusters. Sure, let's go with that answer. Um, that being the case, I'm going to load decks real quick because I like them to actually have decent cards. And also, I absolutely just like the kind of So, um, I will show you. Well, try to make it. I'll give Homer the. Uh, what should we give Homer? Um. The rocket launcher is just way too slow, too slow for her. I know, we'll give her... Nope, that's, that's that one. Uh, Asuka has a pistol. Yeah, we'll give her a shotgun. There we go. I will switch the weapons up a little bit for this one, just because uh, we have been playing with the Yali Khan for a while. Uh... Okay, let's try this and see what happens. They at least have decent weapons to begin with. It's a lot of the other ones that are pretty bad. Oh, you the shower gun. You're not going to support me, so no, it doesn't really work. Ghost Hunt, Episode 1. Fear of Night Sounds. Investigate the rapping sounds. Let's crush Go! Why are you here? It's 
Well, she's already murdered me. This is going well. Wow, this is going bad. Where is she even? You mean I need covering fire if you could? Oh, those things just freaking respond. Where is she? There she is. No, no, no. And she just decided, no, I'm gonna shoot you in the face because I'm Yagyu, damn it. No, 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 shoot Yagyu. Nope. Yeah, I may need to stick to the Gatling gun. I'm just very used to that play style. Okay, there we go. Woo. And boy, I will not save you where you're going. I'm gonna switch from my chair to like a little Okay. Okay, we can come to his character. Okay, um... Yeah, no, we're just gonna stick with what works. I am ready to end this series, so let us just kind of get through this. Yabby yeah, I mean, go double O pie for the win with Gatling gun. Because, yeah, it's like the others are just not going to support me. And the game levels are developed, are probably designed so that they need to support me. So, Ghost Hunt Episode 2 Fear of Floating Faces. Investigate the floating man. Uh, <laughs> oh, she's just having us this time. You meet, you fail. I don't want to shoot you, but I'm going to shoot you. Thank you. We're done. Card. Cool. All right. Episode three: Fear of Curses. Now yeah, we're just sticking with it. Let's 
Ghost Hunt, Episode 3, Fear of Curses. さ、ミ、イッ、レ、ミアリは何を分け退治にこだわる。恐怖に打ち勝たなければ、真のリーダーにはなれんからな。なるほど。確かにそれは一理あるな。ミアリ、たまにはこうして思っていることを話すのもい
look, you might want to try them on the Momi Momi me, but it's uh, not gonna work for you. All right. Uh, I got nothing to really say at this point. It's just a bunch of gumbies. Oh, quiet you. I don't want to. Okay, okay. You know, these are obviously the best missions to have at the end, near the absolute end of your little side story. No, 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 not the opponent ones. I'll tell you to just kill a bunch of random enemies. Oh, okay. I will say the level design in this game is all over the place, it looks like a time. Not the stage stage style, I don't like the mission design or something, whatever. The actual arenas are kind of nice, I do like them. Really, if I had to, if I had to basically make an argument about this game, it, my thesis would literally be this was a single, this was a multiplayer game that was, well, they tried to put a single player mode into it, and it's not really designed for that. The set pieces don't really work for the moment. I put it into design logic. Oh, okay, how many friggin... Uh... Well, I'll still finish it. Okay, wait. Yeah, I'll be go into the air. You know what, Asuka? You kind of deserve that one. Okay, I deserve that one, because it was right to my right when I didn't see it. I just did. Yeah, there's supposed to be one right over in this area. It's on the outside or something? Oh, shut up, you. Oh, shut up, Mr. K. Nobody likes you. Okay, where is this thing? Sounds like it. Sounds like it. Looks like it should be like right around here. I've probably seen it like three times. I would like to, but uh, you guys put it up. What the freaking hell are you thinking? Oh. Little old pie, I want to go home. Wait, I am old. Oh yeah, with that friggin' time, of course. Okay. Fear of Blood, part two. Ghost Hunt Episode 5 Fear of Blood Part 2 Investigate the Bloody Ghost. Let's crash! Let's crash! Shanky! Yum! Sun! What? It's PBS! Mina! I don't even know what the hell that was. It was just death. Oh, 
Look, Shiki, I don't know what the hell your problem is, but I'm gonna have to basically ask you to stop. Okay, what you're doing is not all- uh, Ow! What the hell did she hit me with? Well, she's dead. R really? It was... It was cheeky. Oh. There she is. I see her with my own eyes. Gliding through the darkness like a shadow. Homer and Asuka fly into each other's arms, <laughs> shaking like mad. I could expect no help from them. <laughs> Yumi holds her head and repeats the Buddhist chant. So much for the power of her righteousness. Seriously, the three of them are just basically like, we're, we're just terrified, we're done. <laughs> so once again, all comes down to me. That's right, Double O Opie will save the day. <laughs> I raise my sword and charge into the darkness. Miyabi? Only one soul on earth, heaven or hell, whatever, call me that. Shiki wipes her bloody face with a towel. She bows her head just repeatedly, but I cannot accept her apology. I failed to recognize the ghost of Shiki because I was completely engulfed in fear. And to think this trouble could have been avoided if only my mind and will had been stronger. Asuka and the others look on relieved. They flee a full sprint. <laughs> oh. See, this just proves Miyabi was the best part about this game, okay? <laughs> or at the very least, one of the best parts. Alright, do it be show. <laughs> oh. We got... We got a Yozakura changing, and that's not a new card? We got our Murakuma on vacation, though. That apparently is a new card. We got a black puppet walker. Interesting. Got a lot of money. Got a memorial medal. And we got the ghost of damage. Hooray! Okay, well, that will do it for this time. Next time, we will look over Pain, Pain, Pain. Hikage in the heat. And some a surprise. After which, all we have left is the Sushi Queen, the Hot Shots, and Hunter on Rivals. So we are now in the basically the second half of the Paradise episodes. So we are almost done with them. All right. So this is the last show of the year. So yeah, we'll basically we will definitely finish um. PPS in the next year, um, in 2018, but, uh, I guess, uh, I'll say if you can, stick around for a couple seconds, because a couple of things to say, basically, at the end of this, but, um, first thing first, the Paradise episode this time, the Soji one, basically, was, like, the Yaki one, I do like this a little bit better than the Yaki one, just because we actually kind of get to the point of what Soji's deal with Homer is, 
So this actually was a good introduction. It doesn't explain a ton about the character, but it gives me at least a reference point to understand why she's so upset, whatnot, etc. So that's actually a really good episode. I do like that. The Shinomon Go thing was a bit silly, and it's all in good fun for absolutely sure. Don't get me wrong on that. It is definitely funny that they basically picked that to make fun of. Uh, it also does unfortunately date the game a little bit, because obviously that was a bigger thing last year than this year. So, whoops. But that's what localization will do to you. Um, they, they, the, the game came out, I think, like at the beginning of this year, of 20, uh, 2017, and we didn't get it until later this year. So, Pokemon Go is certainly still a thing, but it wasn't the thing it was. Um, but at the same time, seeing those three characters together is, is pretty good. Granted, the conclusion of that just makes my head hurt in that grammatical error. Doi, uh. Anyway, the last one, the, uh, the goat, basically, the Ghostbusters, <laughs> double O, by there. Uh, that was, uh, the fact that Asuka and Homer are absolutely terrified of ghosts, it's just, actually all four of them are, are it's kind of funny. Um, considering all the other stuff that they fight, you just go, really? Ghost? You fight Yoma. Come on, really? But, I I'll say this, in an actual real fight, they would not be, they would not freeze up, but it's just, it's one of those silly narrative things. Um, Oscar and Homer leaping into each other's arms is certainly funny. Um, but yeah, once again, Miyabi proves why she is the best. <laughs> I know those fight words to some people, but, but that's kind of just, I will say that that is kind of funny in that aspect. So, not a bad episode. Um, the level, the, 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 the stage design and the aspect of like the missions and whatnot, etc. is a little silly. The versus ones, which is basically duel here, here. That's a little, that's a little, you know hard, especially when you're, like, you're fighting Ryobi, and basically it's like, yeah, sniper rifle point-blank range, you're just gonna take a ton of damage. Um, and then that was the, the Fear of Blood part one, where it was just literally nothing but just enemies, 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 enemies. And the infinitely spawning enemies in these missions are just really annoying. Holy jeez. Oh, well, that is that. But anyway, as I said, I just have a couple of things I wanted to say real fast. First of all, this is, as I said, the end of 2017, and this is the last show for 2017. I want to thank you all, every single one of you who have been watching and, you know, commenting on the Offering Fall Plays. I realize I have not had a lot of time to get back to comments as of recent. I've been really busy dealing with a couple of other things. Um, 2017 has, in short, been a real pain for all of us, I'm sure. Um, you know, you could, I'm sure there's various things. Let's not even get political, whatnot, etc. It's just even people I know. It's just been a really rough year. And in my case, it certainly has been. This has been a year I've been trying to graduate from school, help run things at the site, and just about burn myself out to exhaustion and trying to do E3 and AX back-to-back -back and some other stuff. So, I realize I have a new complaint, especially with this regime in particular. I do poke quite, quite a bit at it and nitpick, but this as a whole operating fall plays has been definitely very much a good way of stress relief for myself this year um and i certainly do hope that you guys have been enjoying the episodes they are not the greatest thing in the world for absolutely sure you know i'm just one guy i am no professional at this whatsoever uh i am just one guy who basically sets up a microphone plays a game and just says his thoughts about a stream of conscious um but for those of you who have been enjoying it, you know, and even if, if you have, if those of you who've just watched and stuck through it and been encouraging, thank you so much. I do honestly appreciate that. Here's hoping to 2018 being much better and that, um, you know, we'll be able to play more stuff. I know right now it is just one day a week. I am ho looking to hopefully expand that as um, time goes on. But for right now, the goal is at least to get PBS recorded and done, and then I will figure out what to do from there. Uh, but, once again, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I really do appreciate it. But that'll do it for this time. No long intro. You guys already know the drill by now. Take a look at the comments and the additional notes and stuff for extra stuff. Have a wonderful new year, and I will see you all in 2018. Take care, everybody, and uh, Jamata.